in our last pack with the big box opening is a Reflections 3. Ooh. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm excited about these. Um, there's like the glue and stuff on that side. Maybe I can go from this end better. Again, I don't really care about the pack quality, like the pack itself. Uh, hold on, let's see. Well, I'll get some uh, nice ASMR here, I guess. Oh, there we go. But these are probably, outside of maybe like some Japanese packs or something, probably the most sought after flash expensive packs that there are in Star Wars CCG. Now let's see here. First card we have is Yavin 4. Oh, this card's already bent. Oh well. If you control for each of your starships here, your total power is plus one in battles at Yavin 4 signs. And the same text for Dark Side. I do need a bunch of white border premiere and stuff, so I can use these. And then we have an Imperial Pilot. Deploy, Forfeit, and Ability 2. Power equals zero at any site, when at any site, but adds two to power of any starship he pilots. They did that kind of thing a lot more in later sets too, where the power was just straight up zero. And you just added power to your starship, which made more sense to me. And then we have a droid detector. The device deploy at any interior site cannot be moved. All droids there must move away at normal use of the force by the end of the opponent's next turn or they are lost. Droids may not deploy the same site and are lost at present at end of any turn. Have a focused attack. A lost interrupt during a battle at any site. Target one character or vehicle by combining the destiny draws of two or more of your weapons at the same site. That's really devastating. Have a lift tube. Deploy and forfeit. And maneuver one, land speed three, power zero, may carry four passengers, deploy and move only at interior mobile sites, may move without presence aboard, also may move as they react, only to a battle or force strain if within range. The Moss Isley Blaster, a character weapon, use one force to deploy on any alien warrior, free if on Tatooine. May target for free. Draw destiny. Character is forfeit minus two for remainder of turn if destiny plus two greater than ability. And then we have a, another Jawa's Palace. Ithorian. Deploy, forfeit, and ability two. Power one. Power and forfeit plus two while Momal Nadon at audience chamber. While any jungle, swamp, forest, or exterior indoor site adds one dark side icon and light side icon. Prevents creatures from attacking where present. It has like, a, I think a little Dagobah icon or something for the creatures. Or Java's Palace Alien. A Bara, Baraguin. Deploy an ability 2, power 1, forfeit 3. Once per turn, if the top card of your last pile is a weapon, device, or transport vehicle, you may use one force to retrieve it. During your control phase, may exchange one card in hand for one weapon or device in your last pile. Dang. It's actually kind of cool. There's our foil. Prisoner 2187. Deploy of 0, forfeit 6, power 4, ability 3. Deploys only if rescue the princess on table. May not be transferred while in prison. Adds 2 to your force strains there. For remainder of game, your objective cannot be placed out of play. And if Leia not on a table, flip sometimes I amaze even myself. Go ahead and that one. I already have most every card in the game already, but it's nice to have better quality because not all of them are in great condition. Oh, that, that's a missed shaped sleeve. I hate that. They're so random. It's nice to get pack fresh cards in. There's that. We still have other premium cards coming up too, which is nice. And maybe a Japanese, I think. All right, so Hero of a Thousand Devices. It's an effect. Deploy in one of your droids. During your deploy phase, may use one force to search your reserve deck. Take one device that deploys on a droid into hand and reshuffle. Also, you may forfeit devices deployed on this droid. Forfeit value equals destiny number. 
devices usually have really high density numbers. That's pretty cool. And then we have Cloud City Guest Quarters. I think this is a rare. You control four strain minus one here for dark side and light side is Leia's deploy minus two here. I'm pretty sure that's a rare. Uh, didn't save that one. I think it might be the only rare Cloud City site for the Cloud City pack at least for light side. All right, so then we have a restricted access. Insert in your reserve deck. When effect reaches top, it is lost, along with all opponents. Insert cards there, reshuffle, immune to alter, or deploy between two mobile sites. Opponent's characters may pass only if aboard a lift tube, or opponent uses plus one force each. This looks like a premium card, I think. Uh, Naboo Thief Palace Generator. Your Dark Jedi here are power plus one, Force Strain minus one here, and Light Side Reads, your Jedi are power plus two here. I think that is. It should be. And then I'll just leave that in a second. Then we have a Bib Fortuna. Deploy two, four foot three, power three, ability one, while with Jabba, power plus three, and during your draw phase, may use one Force to count the number of cards in your Force Pile. Place your Force Pile in your Use Pile, and then activate Force up to the counted number. Then another premium card. Open Sea Killer. The plan table cancels Sando Aqua Monster. While no card here may place an opponent's just drawn Battle Destiny face up here. If opponent drew just drew Battle Destiny with the same card title as here, place both cards in opponent's lost pile. I mean to alter. And we have a Tauntaun. Deploying power one, forfeit three, maneuver in line speed two, may carry one passenger. Deploys only on Hoth, but may move elsewhere. Ability equals one quarter. May move as a react from a battle, may sacrifice, lose to make passenger immune to exposure this turn. And we have an operative from Nalhutta. I'm not going to read the operative text. Then we get the last card is a Pronto. I don't think we had a Japanese card. Hold on. Doesn't it say? I can barely read it. I'm too old. One of 100 foils, one of 50 premiums, dark side and light side. And I guess you don't necessarily get a, a foil. Never mind. But the Ronto says power two, forfeit three, power armor three, land speed two, may add two riders, passengers, ability equals one quarter. When ridden by jaw, moves for free and draws one battle destiny if not able to otherwise. Yeah, that is it for these. Let me go ahead and sleeve the other premiums. Now, this was a so we had the foil, the rare that I knew about at least, and then these three premium cards. I can sleeve. Yeah, that is everything from the big box that I bought. Like I said, I may look into buying some more. We shall see. Yeah, that's it for this pack. Show our Leia again. And yeah, thanks for watching.